In a world where survival is measured by strength, Tumak and Sakana find every opportunity to prove themselves better than the other. With Tumak's sudden banishment, his world becomes broader. Together with his new knowledge and allies, they try to make a difference. A man from the Rock tribe lets a warthog chase him until it falls into a pit. He calls his companions, and a triumphant cheer echoes as the men gather around the hole. Chief Akoba, the leader, entrusts his eldest son, Sakana, to end their hunt, but the younger son, Tumak, firmly protests. In the end, the father allows the younger one to jump into the hole and finish the animal's life. Tumak enthusiastically jumps in and grapples with the warthog until it passes away, and the men cheer for success while the father's eyes glimmer in pride. Akoba removes one of the tusks and hands it to Tumak as a symbol of achievement. Afterward, they hurriedly carry the animal, but one older man accidentally falls into the pit. He begs for help, but a younger tribesman commands the others to abandon him since he's weak. The older man can only sob in despair as he sees a vulture waiting for its prey. They arrive at their cave late in the evening in the middle of a storm, and the women excitedly welcome them. Soon, everyone gathers while some women lead in cooking the warthog. The flame bursts, and one older man becomes afraid. Upon seeing this, a woman throws a stone at him, and he falls on the ground while getting mocking stares for his weakness. As everyone salivates, a younger tribesman attempts to get his early share of the meal, so Akoba steps on his hand and it burns on the scorching stone. When the meal is finally cooked, the chief pushes others away and takes his fill. The powerful hunters, including Tumak and Sakana, follow. Lastly, the weaker members of the tribe scramble for the scraps. When Akoba finishes his share, he suddenly attacks Tumak and takes his food. In anger, the son pounces on his father, but he's overpowered and defeated, to Sakana's pleasure. While the rest of the tribe resumes eating, indifferent to what's happening, Nuponti, Tumak's lover, follows them, concerned for her beloved. Akaba pummels the son out of the cave and into the cliff's edge. He continuously clubs Tumak until he falls off. Nuponti rushes to save him, but the chief sternly warns everyone not to involve themselves with his banished son. On the other hand, Sakana immediately claims Nuponti as his lover now that his brother is gone. The following day, Tumak miraculously awakens at the bottom of the cliff. Having no way to climb back, he explores the desert before him. After tedious hours of walking in the unknown area, he encounters a giant iguana. It chases him and Tumak can only run and hide. The iguana finally catches him, so the man hits its tongue with a rock to escape. Then, Tumak climbs a tall rock formation and discovers a cave, which shelters him from the iguana. Fortunately, the cave has water and plants, so he chugs the water and devours the plants. However, his happiness is short-lived as he notices skulls hanging on dead bushes. He silently but quickly runs away when the cave owner, a prehistoric ape, returns home. Tumak discovers an exit and resumes his journey. He's met with another wilderness and unfortunately falls and injures his hand from the sharp rock formations. Aiming for survival, he continues walking. Meanwhile, in the rock tribe's cave, Nupandi escapes from the sleeping Sakana. She sneakily takes Tumak's warthog tusk, but Akaba catches her. Sakana awakens and is about to approach her, but the chief threatens him, showing his dominance. In the end, the son stands down from his father. The next day, Tumak wakes up only to resume his journey. Then, he notices giant animal footprints and sees a dinosaur in the distance. While he runs away, he stumbles upon a giant tarantula, so he runs in the opposite direction. After days of exhaustion and hunger, Tumak's body gives up and collapses near the sea. Fortunately, a group of women from the Shell tribe is fishing in the area. Tumak momentarily wakes up, seeing the group of strangers, and the women cautiously observe him from a distance. The man loses consciousness again and a woman named Loana approaches him. She pities the stranger's state and deems him no harm, so her friends come too. Suddenly, an archelon, a giant turtle, appears. Loana blows a seashell to warn her people and drags Tumak away from the animal. Luckily, the men from her tribe quickly arrive and using their spears, they keep the giant at bay. Meanwhile, Loana attends to Tumak, but when another woman tries to help, she immediately turns her away. When the tribesmen drive the archelon back to the sea, a man named Ahat rushes to Loana. He shows her that the Archelon is successfully going back to the ocean before checking on the stranger. Afterward, Tumak is brought to the Shell Tribe's community to recuperate, and Luana takes full responsibility for him despite Ahat's disapproval. Meanwhile, the men of the Rock Tribe hunt again. Akaba leads the group and climbs the rocky cliffs to chase a mountain goat. Unfortunately, when he's about to grab the goat, it escapes, leaving him hanging by the cliff's edge due to his foot slipping. Sakana hears his father's cry for help, so he checks it out. Upon seeing him hanging, he steps on the cliff's edge, making it crumble and leading to Akoba's fall. He immediately returns to the men and claims leadership by taking the chief's fur coat. On the other hand, Tumak regains consciousness and observes the surroundings. He sees how collaborative and civilized the Shell tribe is. The men sharpen their spears, some women cook while others sew clothing. The elder also teaches the children about survival. Loana notices him and she brings him food while everyone watches. 
The children laugh upon seeing how he devours the meal while Ahut remains vigilant. That evening, the rock tribe offers a celebration to their new chief. Amidst the festival, a woman screams in fright upon seeing the return of the former chief Akoba, who is weakened and broken due to his injuries. Simultaneously, Tumak is left alone in the shell tribe's cave and explores the tools they use for everyday survival. He intently looks at the needles, the boiling water, and the paint. When he goes outside, he sees the men fixing their spears, and Ahot teaches him how to wield them. Loana arrives and introduces herself and Ahot to him, so Tumak shares his name. Then, she escorts Tumak around the community, where the stranger sees the children having difficulties taking some fruits. Therefore, he climbs the tree and shakes the branches to let the fruits fall to the children's delight. He also helps the child climb the tree to get more fruits. Afterward, Loana teaches Tumak how to fish using a spear. Failing to catch a fish with the spear, he accidentally plunges into the water, making everyone laugh. He's confused at first, but laughs along with them, especially upon seeing that he actually caught a fish. However, an Allosaurus charges at them and catches one villager. Everyone rushes to hide in the cave, but the child Tumak helped earlier is stuck in the tree as the dinosaur targets her. Tumak seizes Ahot's spear and rushes to save the child. He bravely faces the Allosaurus alone, and upon seeing him, the other men, including Ahot, come to help him. However, their spears are useless, and one of the men is bitten, so Tumak grabs a long wooden pole from a collapsed infrastructure and stabs the dinosaur in its chest. As the reptile falls, he takes Ahot's spear to end its life. Tumak feels satisfaction as he takes ownership of the weapon, but the real owner takes it back. Due to Tumak's strong reluctance, Loana calmly retrieves the spear and returns it to Ahot. Soon after, the people from the Shell tribe bury the remains of those who lost their lives together with the remains of the Allosaurus that took them. Tumak watches them in disbelief as he doesn't understand the importance of this custom, so he returns to the cave alone and steals Ahot's spear. On the other hand, Ahot notices his strange behavior and discreetly follows him. Once he enters the cave, he sees Tumak hiding his spear under his sheets. The owner takes back his spear, but Tumak pounces on him, and they fight over it. The man from the rock tribe overpowers the man from the shell tribe as he pummels and strangles him. Ahot splashes Tumak's eyes with the hot water and takes the chance to attack. Amidst the commotion, the chief of the shell tribe and the rest of the people return to the cave and see how savage Tumak can be. So the men subdue him, and he's banished again. Loana decides to join Tumak, and Ahot hands him the spear as an act of kindness. Soon, they set off to return to the rock tribe. They cross the desert and enter the ape's cave, where Loana excitedly drinks water after a long journey and grabs a fruit to eat. Unfortunately, the apes arrive, so they climb the tree to conceal themselves. The apes go about their normal lives, and Tumak directs his companion to calm down. But the woman drops the fruit due to her nervousness, and it falls in front of the apes. Fortunately, they don't look up and fight over the food instead. The two grab the chance to climb higher to avoid being seen by the apes. They wait it out until morning comes with Loana in Tumak's arms. When the apes go out the next day, the two escape the cave. Loana feels the exhaustion and fear of the unknown, so she holds Tumak's arms and cries. The man wipes her tears, but is still confused about his companion's feelings. Soon, they resume their journey, but their path gets blocked by Triceratops and the Ceratosaurus, which are ferociously battling each other. They hide between rock formations to protect themselves, and fortunately, Tumak discovers a tunnel covered by the rocks. He immediately uncovers the entrance with the help of Loana, and they hurriedly leave the fighting reptiles. Tumak lets his companion pass through first, but when he's about to crawl out, the rocks crumble and block his way. With no choice, he waits for the battle to end. Finally, the Triceratops wins and leaves the area. Tumak runs over the slope and calls for Loana. Meanwhile, the men of the rock tribe have found the woman, and Sakana becomes interested in her. She blows the shell horn to notify her companion of her location. The rock tribe chief chases her, and Loana does her best to fight back. Immediately, Tumak heads to the woman's location and subdues his fellow rock tribe members. Then, he comes face to face with his brother once more. Sakana fiercely charges toward him, but the younger brother's combat skills are proven to be better. Just as Tumak is about to end his brother, Loana stops him. The men from the rock tribe arrive, but upon seeing their chief defeated, they immediately surrender. Afterward, they return to the rock tribe cave with the wounded Sakana. The tribesmen bring Tumak to Akoba, and in anger, the son prepares his spear to take revenge. However, he realizes that his father is not how he used to be since he's now weak, so he decides not to hurt him. On the other hand, Nupandi, who excitedly takes the warthog tusk to show Tumak of her loyalty, is ignored. Loana notices her and gently takes the tusk since she is with Tumak now, but the other woman holds it tightly and shoves her away. Enraged, Nupanti takes a sharp horn and tries to stab Loana, but the woman from the shell tribe defends herself and strikes a counterattack with all her might. However, the former lover channels all of her strength into strangling Loana. Then, Nupandi takes a burning wood and attacks the stranger with it. Loana grabs a piece of animal hide, uses it to extinguish the fire, and hits Nupandi until the woman collapses. On the ground, Loana then stops the defeated Nupandi from moving further. The men of the rock tribe urge Loana to end her enemy by giving her a huge rock. 
All the while, Tumak is silently watching the scene, so Loana looks at him to check his feelings. Afterward, he rushes to his new lover and shoves the men around her. He also takes the stone and throws it away, summoning the men to accompany him. Loana frees Nupondi while the women and children surround her, holding her blonde hair and sniffing her. A woman inspects the Shell Tribe woman's necklace, so Loana gives it to her. Shortly after, an older woman brings her away from the group and gives her a white fur coat to symbolize being the chief's partner. Loana takes the chance to observe her surroundings and realize how barbaric the rock tribe is. The following day, under the leadership of Tumak and Luana, they begin teaching everyone of the ways of the Shell Tribe, especially in making weapons and clothes. Sakana finds this repulsive and suddenly grabs Tumak's spear. Not wanting to escalate the fight, Tumak allows his older brother to take it and orders the others to commence the day's hunt, while Sakana tries to remain in control of a few tribe members. As the hunters leave, Tumak escorts Loana to his territory. Soon, they arrive at the river, and the woman excitedly runs toward it to swim. She encourages the tribesmen to swim with her, and they all enjoy a refreshing time in the water. Unfortunately, a pteranodon sweeps the skies. Unaccustomed to swimming, Tumak struggles to get to shore, so Loana helps him. The tribesmen use their spears to protect themselves from the reptile, but Loana, who's carrying a child, remains vulnerable. Panicked, she falls and lets go of the child before the pteranodon flies toward her and snatches her away. Tumak and another warrior run after her, but Nupondi stops the women from following them. She smiles in satisfaction as she sees the reptile fly far from the rock tribe territory. Moments later, the pteranodon is about to feed Loana to its hatchlings, but a Ramphorhynchus attacks it. Due to this unprecedented incident, Loana is accidentally dropped into the sea. Meanwhile, a rock tribe hunter loses stamina and can't run anymore, so Tumak assists him to rest and hurriedly runs toward the direction the pteranodon took. Simultaneously, despite her injuries and strong waves, Loana uses all her strength to swim ashore. She tries to get away from the sea as much as she can but collapses behind a sand slope. When Tumak arrives at the beach, he scans the area for Loana, but he only sees the pteranodon's nest with the mother feeding its young. Thinking that his lover is gone, he returns home. On the other hand, Sakana leads a group of like-minded tribesmen to revolt against Tumak. Then, they attack the hunting party and subdue them. Hours later, Loana wakes up and trudges along the beach. Luckily, a man from the Shell tribe is roaming the area. He finds Loana and his sister at home. Ahot attends to her immediately, but she insists on returning to the Rock tribe. She requests the Shell tribe chief to help her return, so Ahot volunteers to escort her with a few warriors. Later, a young member of the Rock tribe that Sakana captured manages to escape while the others are sleeping. The following day, Tumak assists his fellow tribesmen in returning home. Suddenly, he hears the horn from the Shell tribe. He hurriedly climbs the slope and sees the group walking in the desert. He spots Loana and he shouts her name. Soon, the two reunite. The Shell tribe helps Tumak's injured ally and they prepare to go home. Then, the young man who escaped from Sakana arrives and informs Tumak of the revolt. Tumak asks Ahot's help to save his people and he immediately agrees. Afterward, they arrive at the Rock Tribe territory just in time to see Sakana and his men positioned at the entrance of the cave, so Tumak commands the Shell Tribe warriors to hide first before they attack. Akaba steps out of the cave, and an enemy hits him, so Tumak's group charges at Sakana's men. However, Tumak is the first to lose consciousness after being hit by the enemy. Though weakened, Akaba tries to help by throwing stones at the enemies with the women. Amidst the fight, Sakana's group takes the women they like, including Napondi and Luana. They fight back to the best of their abilities, and Nupandi manages to free herself. On the other hand, Luana is taken by Sakana as she fails to win the fight. Fortunately, Tumak regains consciousness and throws a spear at his brother, making him let go of the woman. Suddenly, the volcano erupts when Tumak is about to finish his brother with a huge rock. A massive earthquake occurs, leading to the collapse of the rock tribe's cave, burying many of their people, including Akaba. The others run for their lives, but Sakana still pursues Loana, so Tumak charges him with a spear, ending his brother's life. As the eruption strengthens, the land continues to crack and crumble, taking many lives of people and animals, including Nepondis. When the disaster ends, only Tumak, Loana, Ahot, and some members from both tribes remain. Tumak leads them away from the barren land as they start anew. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.